Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a good day today. This video is to do with Mambo. We're going to be reacting to a video of his, which is a big withdrawal. So, you know, I'm going to have my opinions on it. I want to see if it's real. I want to see if it's fake. This guy is obviously 135k subscribers. He's the GOAT in the Forex community for YouTube content. This guy's the go-to for entertainment. You know, you can see him buying McLarens. He buys this, that, the other. However, this is a $62,000 scalping Forex live withdrawal proof. 64,000 views four months ago. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, let's talk about how I was able to make $62,000 in one single trade. 700 pips hot damn. 700 so pips cool. People to take with me who also made thousands of dollars. I'm going to break it down for you guys. Go over Link will be down in the uh, <laughs> link will be down below in the description what if you want to check out Mambo. I made the actual statements, the profit and loss, so you guys can actually see that you know I really made this and I actually withdrew it to my account and all that good stuff. If you guys enjoy what you guys see, hit that like button. So hit the like button, watching. subscribe. So I can keep on getting content out for you guys because you guys like it, it helps the algorithm, it makes me happy, and it makes me want to post more. So like the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at MambaFX Trading so you guys can see all these trades live and all that good stuff. Very quick okay. intro because I want to break this down. Little promo, little promo, promo little promo. promo. Little promo. With that being said, thank you guys for it's all right, it's all right. And let's just hop right into it. All right, guys. I'm right here. Here on my he computer, is. And before I actually break down the trade, I want to just, you know, show you guys that it's all legit. Show you guys the credibility and that I'm not bullshitting. I really made this money, withdrew this money, and that a lot of other people took this trade with me on my Here he goes. App, here he goes. Have already, get it. It's down in the description. There's free content. You'll see breakdowns like these almost every other day because I'm always winning. And then you also see my analysis of the market. And the, you know, the Some more the promo. Look, that's how we love it. That's how we do it. Things like that, and that's all free. Also, you know, there's a signal option on there. Obviously, here we go. Sell it, brother. Sell it, brother. Said, as you can see, here's pretty much what we've been here we go. hitting lately. And don't look at the times. These times are jacked up. Let's, let's just quickly quick, take a quick look. Sell entry. SL. It's an 18 pip SL. Or well, it says 17 pip there, but still minus 1%. If you took three positions, that's minus three percent. Nas, the pips are done differently anyway. But like, why would this trade GU plus twenty pips, but has no tape profit? That's weird. I don't know what they did with that. This know, is his app, right by small. the way. Okay. We Clarity have app. Nas one hundred right here. Uh, twenty pips, fifteen pips. Pretty small wins here, but they were like. Yo, he, ones. I mean, yo, looking at this, fifteen pips stop loss, sixty pip tape profit. That's a four to one. 60 pips take. I mean, I get confused because if you look at his take profits, that's 20, that's like, what, 24 pips? If that hit. And then this would be 60 pips. So, like, he, he obviously take profit one hit. And then what? Close TP2, TP3, and then wax on 60 pips plus. Okay, very nice 60 pips, 35, 100 pips. So, like, if he's doing that, then he needs to also put, so if he's calculating the pips like this, he also needs to put minus 3% when it's minus. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like he needs to add it onto the, the pips. For example, minus 17 pips, yeah, that's for one SL, but you're adding the combined pips as total. So with a Forex group, if, if you're seeing these results, this isn't minus 17 pips. This is more like minus, for 61 pips, you know, 51 pips, sorry. So it's just, you got to understand that. So that's minus 51 pips and stuff like that. Just for you guys to understand, clearly isn't calculated properly. And this is a Forex app. Did with that. You know, our losses that are very made. small, okay? We have a thousand pip NAS 100 right here. Uh, 20 pips, 15 pips, pretty small wins here, but they were like take profit ones, just reversed on me. Okay, very nice 60 pips, 35, 100 pips, 50 pips, 33 pips, negative, and then everything. See, look, minus 33 pips, pips for gold there. Pips, let me okay, just like nice. i'm not trying to shit on him right but where was that minus 33 pips quick fuck knows uh 20 pips 15 pips pretty small wins here but they were like take profit ones just reversed on me okay very nice 60 pips 35 100 pips 50 pips so let's go again 100 pips sl's only five pips see like if you if it's hard to all like if this didn't actually hit five pips then that's a crazy trade taking 100 pips from a 5 pip SL, right? That's mad respect. 
like these are tight SLs. So, you know, I never knew Mamba used these tight SLs. If you follow Mamba and stuff, let me know in the comments down below. But as you can see, cell limit 1822, TP is 20 pips, TP2 is 40 pips, TP3 is about 100 pips. And he hit minus 33 pips. So with this one, 22 pip entry, SL is 40 pips. So how, but that's only one trade. So technically he lost 120 pips just on one trade. Holy shit, man. 33 pips negative. And no, one, mate, that's fucked. The losses though are very, very Losing small. a 40 then pip SL, man, nice and three positions. Holy shit. If you're not risk managing, you're exactly. fucked. That. A lot of you guys don't know how the app's going, but this is how the app's been going. Okay, just to prove it to you guys, also I want to show you guys some of the testimonials just from the NASDAQ trade that we took a couple of days ago. So as you can see... Bit of advertisement, nothing yet to show the withdrawal, but I'm sure it's coming. Very nice, very nice. This guy right here, he's actually made a lot of money. He made um, 8K on his first trade. Literally his first trade was his FTMO account, and um, now he's made 1300 off of that trade the other night. As you can see, somebody right here made $210 off of 0.05 off that NASDAQ trade. And then these are It'd be interesting to like message one of these on Instagram and ask how they're actually getting on, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that are like trying to show me that they made money, blah, blah, blah. You guys can actually follow me on Instagram at MambaFXTrading if you guys want to see my- Make sure to go check him out if you want to follow his content on Instagram. This one was a really nice. And then the Clarity Wins as well. You know, show you guys the Clarity Wins real quick on the screen, as you can see. We took 700 pips, right? That's where I closed. I was happy with 700 pips, but it kept running all the way down to take profit three for a thousand pips. And a lot of people did hold that long. I didn't. I just got out. I was happy with the $62,000 I made. Fair and, enough. Um, yeah. As you guys can see, clean as day, profit loss statement right here. $62,000 made on this trade. So I didn't make exactly 63 because after I took that screenshot, I went down the time. Nice, and nice, and nice. I closed it. So myself, I make this trade happen and it. Did he, uh, has he made like my Facebook or anything? Because what he's shown me is a, is a dashboard with 64k profit. I'm going to withdraw all of that 60k. I didn't take 62k, but I took the 60k and, um, you know, have a little bit of peace given. There's all like the, you know, the proof that just, you know, me actually showing the statements and all that because a lot of people are like, I don't show that a lot. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, bro. Well, you got to show it. You got to back it up. See, with that being said, follow me on Instagram. Let's go ahead and go over this trade, what I saw. No, 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 no. With that being said, you need to show more than just, just something that's just like that, you know? Let me make you guys better traders today because at the end of the day, that's what it's about for me is making you guys better traders. Okay, it's a very simple, very simple trade. And if you're not in my Clarity Forex app, you should be in there at least for the free part because you have to remember, guys, I'm doing Outlook videos. So guess what I said on my Outlook video for this week? I said, hey, guys, guess what? We're going to be catching a lot of sales this week on the NASDAQ markets. I believe- Fair that enough, that fair if enough. If you actually take a look at a higher time frame, such as the daily or the H4, you're going to see, and we actually have divergence here. And we were very overbought, by the way, but looking at our RSI, we do have that divergence, right? Higher highs being made here and then lower highs being- Lower highs being made here on the RSI. That shows that we're very overbought. As you can see, we were shown overbought even up in here. So we were very overbought. Mate, I don't use indicators like RSI, but. We're overbought, right? We know we're overbought. We're looking at the H4. I said, hey, you know what? This is an all time high. People are going to freak out. We're going to probably close below this, you know, support zone. And it did. And then we're probably going to drop, right? We're going to drop down to these zones. And that's what I said in the beginning of the week. And if you guys were in the Clarity Forex app, you would have saw all of that for free and you would have known to look for sell position. Okay. But that being said, I know Guys, make sure you're in the clarity app then, clearly. We're very overbought. We had some, you know, some pretty good bearish volume take over as well here, so price is going to drop here. Mate, this is crazy how people all actually fucking to listen to this. Actually, in that Outlook video, I spoke about it. I said, hey, we already missed the setup, guys. Look at this little breakout here that we have for a sell. Lots of volume, breakout, sell position that I missed. Missed this trade. And I said that live in the actual video. I said, hey, missed this trade. Unfortunately, missed this trade. And it was a really clean setup. Moving averages were in confluence, and then boom, closed below that little bit of a trend line on the smaller time frame, which is just a simple breakout. And that's all I trade. It's just breakout patterns on the five minute time frame. It's very simple. Anybody can trade it. And okay, I guess this is a scalping forex if you did take video. Trade, so I did not. All you had to do is take a short position here, have your stops just about one candle above, very tight, and then we could have targeted either you know our next support zone, which would have been here. Even that still would have been a one to two ratio. Or what you can do, what I like to do, is just trail your stop loss. And you would have caught all of this. Just trail your stop loss. Chase this trade with your stop loss here. Next candle, here. Next candle, here. Next candle, here. You would have got stopped out there. 
but you still would have hit like a one to four ratio, right? Yeah, it's all about risk to reward. It is all about risk to reward with trading. With that being said, you know, we had another breakout occur on the five minute chart right after this breakout. And this is something you're going to see a lot. You're going to see trades will break out back to back, right? You'll see a breakout. It'll come back. It'll breathe for a little bit. We'll have another breakout. And sometimes price will break out, come back and retest the breakout zone before continuing to the downside, okay? Same thing with supply and demand. Price will come back, retest supply or demand, whatever the case may be, if you're going up or down, and then it will break out. And that's the okay. five minute chart. But of course, we cannot take these five minute trades if our H4 or our daily is not influenced. I was gonna say, he's gotta show like the one H to four H, cause he showed the daily and this is a scalping strategy, right? But it's like, why did you end the sales? And it's always, he's saying like a five minute breakout, but it's also like the overall market direction. We, we saw, he showed it earlier, price pushed above highs and then it had to pull back to collect orders because there's an imbalance in the market let's see if he shows us this right so all i did for this trade i'm going to put this in replay mode to show you guys exactly what i saw as you can see i already drew my trend line i already drew my trend line right and i saw a price broke below the trend line right here and there's a nice wick so what if this is the trend line you can say what if this is the real trend line right so it's kind of dangerous so what do we have to do? That's we not just a... wait for a retest. We just want to see a retest Whoa. that breakout spot. Okay, it's pretty simple actually. <clears throat> so if we actually chill here and wait for a minute and see what happens, and you know if price really starts to run, on, I don't know what's happening. My app's not playing, but if price starts to run on us, then um, unfortunately we miss that trade. So sometimes you do just want to get in and have a tight stop loss. But look, we came back. We re it's with risk to reward though. It's all about getting the best entry you can. It's not about entering into the market. ASAP, it's about knowing when that's to enter. You get me? That because that's why you get the best risk, re risk reward. Here. Entry is key in trading. Stop loss above that recent high on this little bit of a trend. And then what do we target? Well, we targeted kind of this little bit of a support zone, right? We have a five minute support zone that's kind of just been, you know, it was hectic down there. We had a lot of different touches to this area, this support area, and price didn't want to break it. So what if price comes down and doesn't want to break it again? This will be our take profit, our, our main take profit, and um, we'll just kind of see how price reacts. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see what they're saying. Let's see what he's saying. Area here where price could react. So this is, you know, kind of spots where we're either going to stops to break even here, take half our profit here, and take the rest of our profit or all of our profit here. So also, when you're taking and closing for partials, basically you're decreasing your R to R for when the trade plays out more because you're halving your risk. You're taking half the profits. You, so you save your risk 1%, you take half the profits, you take 0.5% profit, and then you're risking 0.5%. So it, that's that, to at that it. does or, affect like your risk to reward on the overall trade, technically speaking. All I saw was a beautiful breakout. I personally don't market. trade like that, but you can close for partials, people do. Um, but you know, I don't. But influence on higher time frames that were going down. That's how simple I trade. And that's how I'm able to win like five out of every six trades. Literally. Five out of every six trades. Chat, if you want me to buy signals and see if it's five every six trades, I hope it is because then, you know, I'll be making a lot of money. Let me know in the comments down below because obviously I'll buy the signals. I'll do this on probably on my, my main channel or something. Not even going to shit on Mambo, obviously, you know, respect to everything that he's done. But it's entertainment purposes only. The guy's saying he does five and six trades. Yo, I don't need, I don't hear five and six. You know, I might get a losing streak of three, four because of my tight SLs. And it all depends how tight your SLs are. If you're using 40, 50 pip, 30 pip SLs, then, you know, you, you shouldn't really be missing. With 20 pip SLs, mate, 20 pips is nothing. Like literally wrong. Like it's, it's that simple for me. That's how I trade. Okay. All right, let's play out. Let's play so, out. Take profit one. Take good profit entry. Day, good entry. And then again, you know, I took my profit already on that drop. But if we would have been patient and held for a thousand pips, take profit would have got hit. And yes, this is a thousand pip trade. Two hundred fifty pip stop loss. A thousand pip take profit. That's the game you play when you trade now. Sixty-two thousand. Very rewarding and make you a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing, man. And that's how hey, I'm man. trading every single day. It's literally that easy. It's not rocket science. I know I say that all the time. People make fun of me for it, but it's not rocket science. It's that easy. It's like it's very simple. Higher time frame influence, breakouts on a smaller time frame, tight stop loss, trail my stop loss. I agree with what you're saying here, boys, you know, and girls. Get your confirmation from higher time frames, and then you can use smaller time frames for your entry, but you don't even need to do that, you know. The the one H is fine. You don't need to be scalping on the five minutes. Because <clears throat> technically the trade says scalping. But it's like 
Yes, he scalped on the five minute time frame. However, that's a risky scalp in my opinion, you know. As he said, he missed the drop already. If you guys are interested in so. anything I offer, in the notes down below. As I said, man, signals, booming. You want to not pay, you want to get the app and just see the free content, the outlooks, the breakdowns. It's free. Go get it. It's free. I want you guys to get it. I want you guys to learn for free and be in a better position. The amount of lives that I've already changed is crazy to me. And yeah, I know. I get a lot of... Yo, I kind of want Mamba to change my life, actually, man. I'm actually falling for this. Has profits like this. He said he's changed people's lives. As much as him. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess, yo, the 135k subs definitely helps. <laughs> Why get so much hate? With that being said, if you guys want to, he gets hate because, mate, in the forex industry, when you're dealing with other people's monies and stuff like that, in terms of their investing into you, investing into your signal group, and you do shit or whatever, then obviously you're gonna get blamed. You get me? It's just take with a pinch of salt, bro. This is just so confusing to me. I don't follow crypto. It's nice to see though that he's that he's into the crypto as well. I really appreciate the support lately. I love you guys, man. You guys have been you know killing the support. Lots of good trades actually that I took recently with the gang. It's it's been really really nice, really nice. So you know same breakout patterns all the time. With that being said, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. If you guys want to see more breakdown videos like this, check his link in the description. I'll put his link so you guys can subscribe to him, obviously. Okay, so, you know, that was the end of uh, the 62,000 scalping Forex live withdrawal proof. I mean, clicking on live, I was expecting to see the live trade. Um, you know, so I want to see his meta trader. I wanted to see him record himself in real life. Guys, this trader took. Duh, 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 duh. That would have been nice to see. If I'm honest, all he did was sit in his room, show us 62,000 on the screen that had plus in and uh, said he was going to withdraw it, but never showed a withdrawal either. So, yo, a little bit skeptical. Seems like a 10 minute video that he made in his room, but nevertheless. The scalping trade that he showed, that he hit, he gave an analysis for. Um, I would like to see why he actually got into that trade on the 1H and the 4H, because he did say it was going to show confirmation, and then he didn't really, he didn't show anything. He just kept on the five minutes and just said it's a breakout, and uh, you get your entries in here. So, you know, give me your opinions on the video, but nevertheless, subscribe to Mamba, link in the description. He's got a clarity app and all that good stuff, so make sure to check it out. And if you enjoyed these reacts, we upload in every single day at 6 p.m. Make sure to check it out. Subscribe, like the content, hit the bell notifications. And until next time, until the next person that we uh, react to, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace. Let's go.